Namaskar viewers, this is Mr. Shamuto. I welcome you all to this session of Workshop Organization and Vehicle Maintenance Management. In this video, we are going to see the inspection and repair procedure for the engine crankshaft. The crankshaft of a four-cylinder engine usually have five main bearings. At the front of the crankshaft, provision is made to locate and drive the crankshaft pulley and timing gear via keyway and securing bolts. Behind this, the oil pump drive is located and then the first or front main wheel. Damaged shaft must be reconditioned or replaced. The crank shaft is one of the most highly stressed engine part. The stress on the crankshaft increases by four times every time the engine speed doubles. Any sign of crack is caused to reject the crankshaft. Most crack can be seen during a close visual inspection. Crankshaft should also be checked with magna flux, which will highlight tiny cracks that would lead to failure. Bearing journal scouring is a common crankshaft defect. Scouring appear as scratches around the bearing journal surface. Generally, there is more scouring near the center of the bearing journal. Crankshaft journal should be inspected for nicks, pits, or corrosion. Roughness and slight bends in journals can be corrected by grinding the journals. Crankshaft should be carefully measured to determine size of main and rod bearing journal compared to factory specification. Each journal checked for out of round condition and each journal checked for taper. If crankshaft journal have excessive scouring, out of round or taper, then the typical procedure is called grinding. Grinding a crankshaft is a process removing material from the journal in an effort to refurbish and reuse an expensive yet vital component of an engine. There are five steps. Step 1. Pinning. Pinning is a cold process where a small force is applied to the correct places repeatedly to bring the shaft back to its original straightness. Step 2. Both crankshaft ends are placed in rotating head on one style of crankshaft grinder. Step 3. The main bearing journal are ground on the center line of the crankshaft. Step 4. The crankshaft is then offset in the two rotating heads just enough to make the crankshaft main bearing journal center line Rotate around the center line of the crank pin. The crankshaft will then be rotating around the crank pin center line. The journal on the crank pin is reground in this position. Step 5. The crankshaft must be repositioned for each different crank pin center. The journal is polished after grinding to remove the fine metal remaining on the journal. The crankshaft is rotated in its normal direction. The crankshaft is rotated in its normal direction of rotation so that the polishing cloth can remove the fine metal remaining on the journal. This leaves a smooth shaft with a proper surface finish. Most crankshaft grinders grind 
in the direction opposite of rotation and then polishing the same direction as rotation. The crankshaft oil passage should be cleaned. Sometimes it is desirable to salvage a crankshaft by building up a bearing journal and then grinding it to its original journal size. This is usually done by either electric arc welding or a metal spray. The greatest area of stress on the crankshaft is the fillet area. Stress relief is achieved by short pinning. Grey duct tape is commonly used to cover the journal to prevent damage. All crankshaft should be coated with oil to keep them from rusting and stored vertically until time for engine reassembly. All crankshaft should be placed on the floor vertically to help prevent wrapping due to gravity. Thank you for watching.